Hello everyone, welcome to Homeschool Autism Life. My name is Jamie and this week's video is a far, far away different video than I had originally planned and that's okay, life happens. But uh, life happened <laughs> and it was something that I was struggling with dealing with with my husband and it real or I realized as we were struggling through just how much it mirrored uh, homeschooling a special needs child or a child with autism. So I thought I would share the lesson that I was learning again for the 100th time with you in case this might be a week that you need to hear the same thing. So I'll tell you what happened. We decided after uh, putting on a deck that uh, leads to our front door, we knew that we had done something wrong because we were told by somebody to put this one product on and then we went to the store to finish up something and another lady was at the store and she heard what we had put on our floating deck and was like, oh, that's for cement. And so we knew we were going to have to redo the deck and it lasted, quote unquote, for <laughs> about six years. And we we're like, okay, it's time to do what we need to fix it up, especially if we're thinking about maybe selling. We're not sure about anything yet, but it's something that's kind of in our background. We're starting to kind of feel each other's elbows as the kids have gotten bigger. Uh, and we're in a, a trailer that has an addition, but it's just, it's getting small. And then once we added homeschooling and hanging on to the space, and I think, I've shared about like redoing this space last year. I'm having to redo it this year. So there may be some videos coming up about that whole process, but it's just, I'm constantly reorganizing and trying to get the most out of this tiny space. And this room has so many different things, but I digress. Essentially, that's why we're thinking about maybe moving on, getting a bigger place for us, and then preparing for Darian down the line with like a, a suite of some sort down in the basement or whatever. We're not sure, but God does. So anyway, we were like, we need to fix this deck. We need to fix this deck. And the original plan was we were going to take up the boards and put new boards down. But as we started taking things up, we realized just how poorly it was built first off and then how poorly the wood has been after probably being there for like 20 years. So oh, we can't really complain necessarily, but it was a way, 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 way bigger project than we had planned. We have a whole bunch of things coming up that I was like, we needed, you know, in my mind, this was a, step one, get this deck done in a week and then move on to all of the other projects. Now it's looking like it's going to be at least a two week build. And it was this big, huge hokey peat. <laughs> um, and it's, it's, it's a, it's a job that we don't feel particularly competent or, um, able to take on. So that's, that's kind of where we're coming from. And as the time went on, and as we realized just how big this project was becoming, my husband and I started talking about it in terms of, we each have our strengths and our weaknesses, and we usually compensate each other for those things. And just working together as a team has made such a difference in tackling something that we would never ever take on ourselves. If we had known it was going to be such a redo, we wouldn't have taken things off. <laughs> we wouldn't have even started. We would have waited until maybe we found a contractor or maybe my dad, who's a contractor um, or retired contractor, he would be able to help us with. But now that it's taken off and now that we don't have a front door, we're kind of in it and I call my dad and I'm like, dad, what do I do with this? <laughs> but it's, it's one of the things that life likes to throw at us oftentimes. And 
I equate it with being an autism parent or a special needs parent because I was like, this is exactly what it was like. When you start out having kids, whether it's a surprise pregnancy or a planned pregnancy, your brain is thinking of the typical. This is what it's going to be like. I'm going to have this birth experience, whether that works out or not. <laughs> and then we're going to have milestones and we're going to meet those milestones and then we're going to send them off to school and then they're going to go into junior high and high school and we're going to play catch in the backyard and we're going to do you know, field trips and they're going to love field trips and they're going to love going to the zoo and like there's so many things that we think about as being completely and normal and regular and maybe down the road parents won't feel like that <laughs> all the time but then you have to go through the process of going oh my child isn't meeting those milestones and did we do something did we do something wrong because we knew we had done something wrong with the deck almost immediately after we had done it but weren't going to take it off and but with autism, like there's so many things that you can't pinpoint or special needs of any kind. There's no, you know, I didn't take all of the right vitamins or I didn't do this or I didn't do that. There's no particular answers for that. And then as you get to a point where you're getting the diagnosis, like diagnosing the fact that the deck needs to be torn off and completely redone, <laughs> uh, there's just so much and I'm just, it was one of the things that came to me as we were struggling with this deck project that whoever your partner is, whether it's a spouse, a significant other, uh, a friend, um, a mom and your dad are helping you, like whoever is your support person, whoever is helping you, a babysitter, whoever is there, it's really important to work together to solve those problems because it's amazing what we can accomplish. And if you don't have someone like that, um, can I suggest like praying that you find somebody who is like that? Um, I can't even imagine doing the deck job or raising my son um, by myself. And I'm sure by the grace of God, he would give me the strength and the wisdom to do that. But I seriously, I really pray for those people who are doing it by themselves and feeling the stress and not being able to share that um, joy, but also trial with somebody else. Because I think it's so important, so vital to be able to just go, okay, I need five minutes <laughs> or an hour or a day to just, <sighs> and it, it became really clear to me that just in a completely different light, taking the journey that we've been on with autism that has become so normal and so regular in my brain to transferring it to a deck project and going, this is the gift of having somebody that you can work with and respect. And, you know, my husband is the type of fella who blames himself. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. And in lots of relationships, I've seen a lot of people just cast blame on their partner or this, the person that is supporting them. And it just became really clear that I needed to step in and say, no, 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 no. <laughs> we do this together. And yes, there's going to be bumps down the road because, hey, we don't have all of the knowledge. There isn't a book on this. There may be a book about building a deck, but um, we're, we're taking the bits and the pieces that are good still. And so we can't just start from scratch. And so I hope that this encourages you. It's a big run on sentence as far as I'm concerned, but it was one of the things that I was thinking about as we were struggling with this, uh, this, as we were trying to figure out what steps we should take next. And I just realized that we really needed to work together just as we've done in our entire marriage 
um, and taking care of our son. And I'm just so thankful to have that person. So part of it is a shout out to my husband, Colin, for being that person that supports me and helps me. But also just, I hope it encourages you to look at your spouse and the things that they do, um, even if they're small things, and recognize and be thankful for those things. So I hope that that little life lesson that I got taught helps you in some way. And I thank you so much for taking time to watch this video and have a wonderful homeschool week or summer, depending on what you're doing. And we'll see you next week. Bye.